sent the question to the Republican candidates during the Fox Google News debate and uh, was famously moved. So that's who I am. You know, there's I have a lot of emotion about President Obama. Um, when I was deployed in 2010, I was actually really honored to be deployed under the first African American president. And it actually, it was a really proud moment in my life. You know, I mean, being deployed is really hard, but it was kind of something that I just thought, it's so historic to be deployed under the first African American president. It, somehow that, that, that was comforting to me. Um, and then while I was deployed, after the thing happened on the, the, the debate, you know, President Obama stood up for me during HRC, and he said some really, really cool things in defense of me. And I mean, even in Iraq, one of the soldiers came up to me and said, I heard President Obama was talking about you. And it's something you never, ever expect somebody to actually say, you know, in your lifetime. But um, I don't know, there, there's a lot of support that he's shown the gay community. And with the repeal, don't ask, don't tell. I mean, 20 years of my life, I've had to hide who I was. And President Obama was a big force behind that. And this is another step in uh, support of gay people. And, you know, I don't know what it means. I don't. I, he's one person. He's a very influential person. But for him to stand up for us and for our rights, I think, is just another, you know, monumental thing in my lifetime that, that means a lot to me. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's a good feeling. But it doesn't, I, we can't relax. There's a lot to do. And we have a lot. Still to do. Josh and I celebrated our one year anniversary on May the 3rd, and I told him tonight, I said, you know, it's kind of like an anniversary present. It really feels like that.